John Mendez here with the latest in our how-tos. This one's all about being out on a day when you're not so sure if you should be or not. So, not for the inexperienced, and you've got to be very certain of your equipment, both personal and boat, before you go out on a day like this. But if you go to sea often enough, there will be a day when you think, I've got to get home, and it's horrible. So what do you do? Well, not only have we got a rough and windy day, but we've actually got wind against tide as well, just to make it a bit more fun. When it's rough, obviously there's two, well, three ways we can travel. We can go downwind, we can go upwind, and we can do a beam sea. Downwind is usually the most civilised. The key with downwind is we keep the bow up, and we try and sit on the back of a wave, and as it dissipates, we power and accelerate through the braking wave into the back of the next wave. That's the most civilised way to travel. Upwind, that's probably the hardest. That's where we're going up the face of every single wave, over the crest and down the other side. And then, of course, there's a beam sea. That's where everything's coming in on the side. And sometimes, if it's very rough, Going upwind's difficult, so you might tack by making a upwind into a, almost a beam sea and work your way across the waves. There's one key rule. Don't travel flat out, because you might need power to get you out of a situation. And if you're going flat out, there's nothing left. The other key thing is, it's all about the throttle. You've got to steer to go round the worst of it, but it's all about the throttle. And there's a little thing to always think about. If the bow is dropping, we increase the power to lift the bow. If the bow is rising, we ease the power to let the bow slow down. So just think about that. Bow dropping, power up. Bow rising, power off. If you keep that in your head and go gentle, you'll get wet because you'll get it wrong at some point. You can have a lot of fun and learn a lot. We'll do a little bit of a film for you. The audio will be difficult because uh, I need to zip up, A, to protect the mic and to stay a little bit dry. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so we're going to go into an upwind session to start with as I need to make my way back up that way. So I'm going to practice what I preached, I talked about turning land, I said look for flat water, so just getting the boat going, bigger breaking wave there, don't want to turn yet, there comes the crest, power and turn now, a little bit of power to lift the bow, that was quite expensive, <laughs> and now I've got to work my way from quite an angry sea, so bow rising, power off, bow dropping, power on. And it's on and off all the time. Power on, raise the bow, ease. Power and ease. Power and ease. Power and ease. Big one here, hold tight. And power again to get the bow up. And ease. Power again. That's it. And ease again. And power. And we're just working our way all the time. Up and down. We're doing about 12 knots. He's at the top. Here we go again. And he's a bigger one there. And as I said, you won't get everyone perfect. So here we go. A bit flatter there. Looking for the flat patch. A little bit better. Bigger one here. Hold tight. And bow up. Over we go. That was a large one. <laughs> Hold tight, another big one here, power up, ease at the top, power up, that's it, that's a nice big one there. Bit steep here, they're quite close together, yep, that's a big one. And here we go again, power up, and ease over the top, back turn, there comes the next one. Power up again, and down, power up, 
Hold tight, big one, that's it, nice bit of leaning there, power up again. That's a big one. Right, I think that's enough of that. Okay, so we're going downwind now. So the first thing I'm doing is raising the trim quite a long way because I want to keep that bow up. And then what I'm really looking for is sitting on the back of a biggish wave. So I'm sat on quite a big wave here nicely and I'm just opening up a fraction so you can hear me slightly better. Got to make sure I don't overrun it. There's the bow, there's the prone. There we are, just sitting on the back, sitting on the back. We're doing a nice 15 knots, quite happy. The big boat in front of me is just broaching badly, so we'll leave them to it. So all I'm doing is just looking for the wave. Sit on the stern of the wave. And most important, there's the braking crest. Don't want to go anywhere near that. Keep the power just going gently. Just sitting on the edge of the froth there, you can hear I've lost drive. He's back a little bit, trimmed down a fraction. Here comes the wave again, sit on the stern of it. So I'm sitting on the rear face. I'm looking not to overtake the wave. That allows me to just sit the boat there gently. As the wave starts to dissipate, just a little bit of power to push me through. And then the same on the next one. I'm sitting on the top there. You can see my bow so high, so, so high. As it dissipates, a little bit of power. And then just in front of me there is the next one. Looking at that, sitting there. Don't want to go too quick. Sit on the back, sit on the back. And then power through again. Bow up again. Here comes the next wave. Sit on that. Woohoo! Surfing, surfing, surfing. And then sitting on the wave, sitting on the wave. That's nice. Just keep the bow up. As it starts to dissipate, a little bit of power. Look for the next wave. Here's one here. Keep that bow rising. As it falls, ease. A little bit of power again, get the bow back up. And every so often, I'm having a look behind me to make sure there's not a big one about to catch me up. Bow's nicely up, that's good. Sit there, sit there, sit there. Don't let it catch. A little bit of power and through we go. There's a nice one in front of us there. Here comes a nice big wave. Let's sit on that one for a bit. Sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there, sit there. Get that bow back up, a little bit of power, and then ease again. Here he is, sit there. Sit, 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 power, hold the bow. Hold, 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 hold. As we start to fall, little bit of power, and on to the next one. You see it starting to break? Accelerate now, keep that bow up. Run, 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 run. Woo. Sorry. So you can there see the spectacular danger when you're going down sea. If you accelerate too early and push your bow through the wave, you end up wearing it. Uh, and that's where ribs are good, because the buoyancy collar means we just shake the water off and it drains out the stern. But You've got to be really aware that water's heavy and it can make things very unstable. So, don't overtake a wave because you punch into the back of the next one and it all gets a bit exciting. So you've seen the fun and joy of upwind and downwind. It's still pretty breezy out here, so we're just going to do a little bit of beam C, A, because we want to get home, and B, it just give you an idea that you can make quite reasonable progress. So I'm going to run pretty much across the waves, then I'll come up slightly into them, and then down slightly into them, just so you can see the different angles. Technique's pretty much the same. 
bow rising, ease, bow folding power. So I'm just bringing her up to speed, I'm just working the waves. So I'm always looking there. That's where the sea's coming from, and that's where I need to be looking. So do I go up a wave? So here I'm going up. Here comes the next one. Ease, power again. Here comes the next one, and I'm looking too beyond it. I need to see what's coming. Power over, ease, power, ease, ease here, power again. And you can make good progress. We're doing good 20 knots, boat's quite comfy. Just looking all the time, that's the danger. Keep watching up there, round the back of these. Here it comes again, power, ease, up and down. Little trough here, bring the speed up a little bit, get it running, a little bit of trim up. A little bit of power there, and then ease again so we go up and over. So we're just coming back in, having had a very entertaining afternoon. Little word of warning, we've had a great time and we've been driving within the capabilities of us and the rib. Just. Been gusting force eight at times and there's been some quite vicious sea, some big holes. By all means, go and gently explore both you and your boat's capabilities. Don't go mad. This is a nine metre rib, two big engines on the back. It's got a lot of capability. Be careful with what you get up to, but enjoy. <laughs>